out there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is D Done here, the most chill cod player, bringing you some more advanced warfare. This is a DNA bomb with the HBRA3 Raider, which <clears throat> I've seen people use and I've never had it before, but I finally got it on this account. It's plus one fire rate, minus one accuracy, and I think plus one mobility. Uh, it's absolutely monster. I thought that the that the average Joe is good, but this thing is actually this thing I think is one of the few base ARs that can compete with some of the elite guns like the Insanity, like the uh, Inferno, and like and the uh, Obsidian Steed, because the base HBR has really good damage output. So when you stack on the extra fire rate, uh, it's pretty good, and it's also a really good AR for small maps like Comeback. So I pick up, I think, a 42 gun streak in this gameplay, which you guys will see. Um, and uh, I was going to actually use an SN6 DNA bomb that I just got the other day, which I was actually really excited about because I had been struggling for whatever reason to get a DNA. I think it's because I was having some problems with my internet. But I hadn't got DNA for like uh, for like almost two days. And... Uh, and finally I got one and when I got it with the SN6 and I was just so focused when I got it and I, after I was done it, it felt good to get that gameplay and uh, and it made me think of other gameplays that I've got in the past from previous Call of Duties that that I'm proud of that that are memorable in my eyes and so I thought I would share those guys with I thought I would share those with you guys today so we're going to go through all the CODs I've played, except for World at War, because I'm going to play that for like a month before I traded it back in. But uh, first off, I started in COD 4. That was my first online multiplayer experience, uh, at least with a first-person shooter. And uh, I remember being able to hop on at a friend's house, and I just hopped on, and I, I w went flawless in, I think, three consecutive free-for-all games. And uh, that was that was after I'd been playing it for like two years though. Um, I remember though the first time that I was playing Domination and I was first place on the leaderboard. I felt so good about myself, and uh, that was cut for Modern Warfare 2. The only thing that really stuck out to me in my mind from that game was whenever I got my first nuke. Because um, in Modern Warfare 2, you could sound horrible like a mother, but I didn't have a headset or anything. I played on really crappy and from uh from it was just my internet that came with my apartment and i remember camping out my first nuke and i was like thumping my chest and i was hooping and hollering i was so stoked um next was black ops one um i wasn't i still wasn't extremely good um at call of duty um that was the first game that i think i had a 2kd in um but black ops one i think the one thing that really stuck out in my mind uh, was whenever I had like a 55 and 0 flawless game that I was really really proud of that. Um, I had let's see what was next. Modern Warfare 3, obviously Modern Warfare 3, my very first Moab. My heart was racing. I was using I think the AK on um, uh, I don't remember the name of the map, but uh, you know whenever you get your first Moab, I was so pumped. That was probably like one of the longest gun streaks I've ever gone on in Call of Duty. I was so ecstatic. Um, I also had a series back then on my YouTube channel called Wifey Class Generator, where my wife, who had no, she has no real knowledge of Call of Duty besides campers are bad and everything, um, and I would let her build my entire class, the gun, the attachments, and it was like an MP5K, which was the worst submachine gun in the game with like an ACOG on it. Um, I had no good perks. I had no sound whoring perks until I had my specialist bonus, and I tried for like two, like a full week or two weeks to get that Moab and I finally got it and I was so stoked and then I also got a 75 kill non-lethal which at the time was my highest non-lethal game um, now let's see moving on into Black Ops 2 my first hundred plus I was using the MSMC on carrier 6v6 uh, kill confirmed actually I was playing 6v6 kill confirmed I also had another gameplay on slums where I went 114-0, and that again was 6v6 kill confirmed. And then I also got a 100-plus kills with dual tac, dual tac 
25 dual attack something pistols uh the dual pistols i got a 100 kill game with that using low streaks too i was using like the agr and like the stealth chopper and the sentry gun or something like that um i was that was that that one was pretty pretty amazing in my mind um next was ghost i remember my first kim strike um and i also that i got actually day one I had stayed up for hours, and I actually had someone uh, watch the kids uh, so I could get some sleep that day because I knew I was going to pull an all-nighter. And I was like, this is my last game. I've got to go get the kids. I've got to go to bed. And my last game, I managed to pick up my first Kim Strike. I also got my first double. Um, so my first – I never got a double in Moab, but that was my first double. I got a double Kim Strike. I actually got a few of those in Ghosts. And I also came pretty close to the triple a few times. You know, I'd go on like two or three 15 or 17 gun streaks or get a double DNA bomb with like a fifth or a double Kim strike with like another 15 gun streak in there. And then now in AW, um, so far it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird because with, with having God accounts and also having, you know, hundreds of Moabs and, and, uh, Kim strikes and stuff under my belt. I, I don't really get too excited, but, uh, you know, I have gotten some double Kim or some double DNA bombs. But I think one of the games that really stuck out to me so far is when I picked up, I think it was like 95 or 97 non-lethal kills. Um, and uh, a clip from that actually made it into Overpowered's top five plays of the week, which I was so proud of because I saw, I read all the comments and there were so many amazing comments on there <coughs> that were saying, you know, my clip was sick, that I went off and stuff. And when you see really good, awesome, you know, feedback like that, I was pretty proud of that gameplay, but anyway, those are some of my best gameplays. I would love to hear what you guys are. If you guys have a gameplay that really sticks out in your mind, even if it was like the first time, like you said, like for me, COD 4 Days, the first time I finished top on the scoreboard, I was so excited because that was my first time and um, that was my first online game experience. I really felt like I was actually making progress towards becoming a good player, but those are my, you know, some of my favorite Call of Duty moments and gameplays. Leave yours down in the, in the uh, comment section. Let me know or, you know, hit me up on Twitter as always and, you know, tweet me your favorite or best gameplays and we can talk about it there. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, a like is always appreciated. If you hated it, then dislike it and leave me a comment why. Make sure to check out all the links below in the description. And if you're new and enjoy my content, subscription is always appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.